Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to look at a problem. This one came from the YouTube channel, so uh, it's a good question. Uh, the other example that I did, it had the radius instead of the diameter, which is what we're going to look at here. So uh, hopefully this example helps you guys out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the volume of a cone, we need the formula for the volume of a cone first. So the volume of a cone is pi times the radius squared times the height divided by 3. Now, the thing about this problem is it starts with a diameter of 12 inches. But as you can see, in this formula, we need the radius. So what we're going to do in order to find the radius is we're going to take the diameter, which is 12 inches, and divide it by 2. That will give us the radius at 6 inches. So in this formula, I can go ahead and go in and take the radius and replace it with 6 inches. And then in addition to that, at the very top here, they told us the volume of the cone is 1,809.56 cubic inches. So this volume right here, the V sub cone, or the volume of a cone, I'm going to replace this value with that 1,809.56 cubic hundredths cubic inches. So at this point, uh, this is all set up for us, and we're going to solve it just like we would pretty much a regular equation. I'm going to do this in two steps. Not everyone has to, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by multiplying both sides of this equation by 3, which makes this divide by 3, a phantom one, it essentially cancels it out. So I have 3 times 1,809.56 would equal pi times 6 to the power of 2 times h. And 3 times 1,809.56 is 5,428.68. H. Now, what this would be, that orange number there, 5,428.68, that is the volume of what the cone would be with the same dimensions as a cylinder. So next up, what I'm going to do is take this 6 to the power of 2 and actually square it, which would give us 36. Next up, what I'm going to do is, I just want the h there, which is really nice. To get the h by itself, I'm going to divide by pi times 36. So over here, I'm going to divide by pi times 36 as well. Now, for my calculator, I can punch that in at the same time. Uh, some older calculators, you may have to divide by pi first, and then divide by 36, which will give you the height. And in my calculator, it gave me this this decimal right here. And, uh, I assume that it had a little bit more decimal places to it, but that's all we're going to really need because at the very top it told us to round to the nearest whole inch. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, round this to 48 inches. Now just to clarify what I did back here, the pi and the 36, those became divided by themselves, which is 1. I made those phantom ones, which is right there with the H. Now just real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re go back I'm going to go back to that equation pi times 6 to the power of 2 times h divided by 3 I'm going to replace h with 48 and I should get about or almost exactly 1809.56 So I did that I put that in my calculator it gave me uh it's a, it's a big decimal 1809.557368 and some change on that uh, Of course that 0.557 would round to 0.56 so uh, since we had rounded the 48, of course, we'll have to do some rounding there uh, when checking our work. So that worked out pretty good. Uh, so that would be our answer there at the bottom. And 48 inches is the height. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope that helped you guys out. If it did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and just leave a comment below. Thanks, and have a good one.